Hi everyone, welcome to the RPP Resonance Chemistry. Now I'll continue with my lectures on amino acids. I think this is part 6 or 7. Okay. Now, in previous cases, we will discuss the, the reactions with respect to the amine group and with respect to the COOH functionality. We will discuss more than 15 examples, 15 reactions regarding to the like NH2 and COOH individually. Now, in this lecture, we will discuss the, those reactions with NH2 and COOH simultaneously and at a time. Okay. So now, the, both the reactions, reactions with both NH2 and COOH functionality okay amino acid is a bi uh, bifunctional group that's why in this case these two functional groups at the time involved in the reaction those type of reactions or reactions with both NH2 and COOH functionality okay now let us discuss the first reaction that is a uh, reactions on heating on heating Okay, now we know that amino acids are classified with respect to the location of NH2 functional group. It is classified alpha, beta, gamma, delta and so on. Okay, alpha amino acid, beta amino acid, gamma amino acid, delta amino acid. Okay, now in this case, alpha amino acids on treating with a heating reaction, that is in presence of heating, it gives diketopiperazines. Now let us examine ourselves. So here it is NH2. Okay. Like a, let us examine here it is a COOH. Okay, so it is the alpha amino acid carbo carbonyl functionality which the, with respect to the carbonyl it is alpha position alpha position having the NH2 functionality then it is called alpha amino acid. Now again the second mole of alpha amino acid now I would like to write the compound like this NH2 in here also I would like to write the compound like this. Okay, so the two moles of uh, Two moles of alpha amino acids. Two moles of alpha amino acids on heating with a uh, like a heating on heating conditions, it produces either the loss of water molecule, here the loss of water molecule. Okay, now it produces this type of compound. Then H C double bond O. Now here N H like here or group here or group okay so diketo functionality is present diketo like a piperazine so without keto compounds it is a piperazine molecule so here it forms the diketo piperazine molecule with respect to the alpha amino acids alpha amino acids now in this case this is the first reaction now let us go through the beta amino acid reactions beta amino acids now in beta amino acids here the loss of ammonia molecule it forms the alpha beta unsaturated compounds now let us examine ourselves so here it is the nh2 molecule here ch like a COOH let us let us imagine it is a like a beta amino acid so beta amino acid will treat it with a like a higher at a higher temperature it it loses the one of the hydrogen from alpha position of the carboxylic acid group and beta position amine so both are eliminated like NH3 molecule on heating it loses the ammonia molecule and it forms the alpha beta unsaturated double bond here it forms the alpha beta unsaturated double bond. So here let, let us examine another example like here CH NH2 CH like hydrogen COOH. Okay, now here it is the CH3. So in the same case here the loss of ammonia molecule here it forms the like this type of compound, this type of alpha beta unsaturated compound. So this is called like a, a, pro, a acraldehyde, this is called crotonaldehyde. Okay, acraldehyde as well as crotonaldehyde. These are the beta amino acids. Not only beta amino acids, gamma amino acids, delta amino acid are also can use the like this type of heating reactions. Okay, now gamma amino acids. This is third in first example. Gamma amino acids. So gamma amino acids will undergo the gamma and higher than the gamma position that is a delta like by those type of compounds gamma delta tau those type of uh, amino acids will give the uh, intramolecular yield reactions will give the intramolecular reaction. Now let us examine ourselves. So now here it is the like a uh, carboxylic acid. Okay, now here alpha position, beta position, gamma position having the NH2 functionality. Gamma position having the NH2 functionality. So then it is called gamma amino acids. Gamma amino acids. Here it undergoes the like a uh, intramolecular condensation reaction. Now here the loss of water molecule, it forms the like these type of compounds. 
okay co nh2 co nh functionality is called amide so here these are called cyclic amides cyclic amides cyclic amides which is also known as lactams which is also known as lactams now here only four carbons are present one two three four so that's why it is called gamma butyrolactam butyrolactam now not only gamma compounds here the like a delta compounds can also give the these type of reactions okay alpha beta gamma delta okay so delta uh, these type of compounds can also give the intramolecular reaction here it is the intramolecular condensation reaction intramolecular condensation reaction so here it gives the one more number of carbon atom in a cyclic chain okay now here five carbons are there that's why it is valero compound delta valero lactam delta valero lactam so these type of reactions will use the in presence of heating condition in presence of heating condition now let us discuss the uh, remaining two reactions i think here three reactions only there with uh, both uh, nh2 and coh functionality Okay, now the second example is uh, reactions with a uh, cupric oxide. Reactions with uh, uh, copper plus two, that is copper oxide. Okay, now here reactions with the uh, simple it is copper plus two complex. Now let us uh, let us reaction with uh, let us example for the here it is glycine. Okay, so glycine will treated with a copper complex. A glycine will treated with a copper plus two complex. Okay, now here it forms the copper glycinato copper glycinato type complex. So here copper plus two complex. So here it is the coordination compound. Coordination compound. So whenever glycine will treated with copper plus two, will use the like a complex compound. Will use the complex compound. Now here, here it is the like a nitrogen NH two here CH two C double bond O O. Okay. So here oxygen copper will use the uh, a single bond. Now here nitrogen lone pairs will donate the a day two bond. So this is the first molecule of glycine. Here two moles of glycine will take. Now the second mole of glycine here NH two like a CH two C double bond O O. Okay. Now here in similar case like a nitrogen lone pairs can donate their uh, uh, two bond well, like unshared electrons towards the copper atom. It forms the day two bond. Now oxygen will forms the single bond with copper. Single bond with copper. Here it is the like a copper glycinate two type of complex. Okay. Now reaction with the copper plus two will use the a complex compound. Now let us discuss the final example. That is very important example. Nin hydrin test. Third one, nin hydrin test. Here, which is used for the determination of amino acid, that is a nin hydrin test. Okay. Now here it is the nin hydrin test. The compound of nin hydrin like this. Okay, this is called nin hydrin. So sorry, double bond O, double bond O. Here it is also double bond O. Okay, so this is called a nin hydrin compound. Nin hydrin compound. So nin hydrin compound, it is yellow in color. Whenever which is treated with amino acid, like it is simply alpha amino acid, will treated with alpha amino acid, will gives the Rahman purple, Rahman purple color. Okay, Rahman purple color. In previous, in recently, two thousand eighteen. Like June, I think it is two two thousand eighteen June for four marker question. So, which is the correct structure of uh, nin hydrin after reacting with alpha amino acid? Which is correct structure of uh, nin hydrin uh, after the reaction with alpha amino acid? Now, let us uh, let us go through the like uh, a mechanism. We will we will get the correct structure among the four. Okay, they are given in the four options. So which one is correct form of the like uh, nin hydrin? Nin hydrin complex after reaction with alpha amino acid. Now let us go through the a complete reaction of nin hydrin test. Okay, now let us go through the uh, nin hydrin complex. OH OH 
double bond O, double bond O. So this is the nin hydrogen compound. So these type of nin hydrogen compounds can undergo the like a keto enolic automatism, a loss of water molecule. It shown the like another isomer. Double bond O, double bond O, double bond O. Okay, so this is the another form of uh, our nin hydrogen complex. So which is treated with uh, our alpha amino acid. Let us examine like it is a glycine or any type of alpha amino acid. Let us let us take the example here. It is the R. Okay, now we will get the compound like this. Okay, now here the loss of uh, water molecule. So two hydrogens from uh, NH2 of uh, amino acid, one oxygen from the nin hydrogen compound. Here the loss of uh, water molecule, it gives the these type of compound N CH or COOH. CH or COOH. Okay. Now here the COOH uh, will form the these type of compound. Okay. Now here on heating with this reaction, uh, simple heating. Now here it it lost the like a CO2 molecule. It lost the CO2 molecule. Okay, so whenever the loss of CO2 molecule here, it creates the negative charge. So that negative charge can participate in the double bond with nitrogen atom. Again, due to the formation of a carbon nitrogen new C, C double bond C, here the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the carbon carbon single bond in a ring. Okay, again, due to the formation of a double bond here, now the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the more oxygen, more electronegativity atom. That negative charge will abstract the proton from COOH. Okay, now here. What happens here? Double bond O, like here single bond CH or okay. Now here it creates the double bond. Here it is the OH. Here it is the OH. So on a gentle hydrolysis, a very simple hydrolysis, here it was the like here H, here OH, here H, here OH. Now we will get the this type of compound. Okay, sorry. Uh, the, okay, OH. Now here like a NH uh, that means here it forms the NH2 now here it is the double bond O here it is the double bond O so after a simple hydrolysis H plus in presence of water okay simple acidic hydrolysis it forms the like a keto compound it forms the a keto compound NH2 double bond O double bond O Okay, so after formation of this compound, now we will use it the another mole of ninhydrine. We require two moles of ninhydrine. Okay, so another mole of ninhydrine will form the this type of complex. So another mole of ninhydrine will treated with a alpha amino alpha amino compound. Now we will get the this type of complex. Okay, now here it is n n double bond here like the single bond of the ring. Here O minus double bond O, double bond O, double bond O. Okay, now here it creates the O minus. So after the protonation of this compound, we will get the this type of compound. Like a, this is the double bond O, C double bond N, double bond O. Okay, now here it is the compound. Here it forms the like a, a like enol is a enol as a final product. Okay, now here this is the final color, final compound which shown a Rahman purple color. Rahman purple color so this purple color very uh, easily observable change from the yellow to purple so if it is changed from the yellow to the purple then you have the presence of amino acid okay that's all for this video this is the like reactions with both NH2 and COOH functionality okay so this is the uh, reactions of NH2 and COOH functionality thank you for watching